Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Left off uh, right there. We were looking out at that wandering horde coming by. And here we go. Back at it again. My goodness, the base is coming along now. Coming along. 230 watts. What all is that power in, though? 230 watts. Powering, uh... All of these. A few of those. This is powering all of those, too, huh? And all of those. All right, all right. Well, that, that's comforting. Uh, well, I can get these uh, lights that we made installed. I can get the... Where do we put those lights at? Are they over here? We have one more generator up there. That's going to come in handy. Certainly. Oh, there they are. I will say certainly I had more than that. Uh, so we can get a good idea. Uh, I'm not sure about how the placement's going to be over here. I guess we could land claim them and pick them up. So we'll just stick to there for now. Still don't know what I'm going to do with that block on the interior portion of every uh, area. That thing was all up in my face. I need to build a lighting structure above the garden. Uh, I think I might go out and wrench cars today. I think we might go wrench cars. I don't know. I wonder if that would be too much. Nah, probably not. Probably not. I'll put one there. I know there's a little difference in the distance. But if we don't, we're not going to have anything that lights up the corner. Because uh, I didn't really, you know, plan for that. I guess we could... Put one there and like one there turn this way or something. I don't know. I don't know. Should be enough light that we don't need. Uh, that we don't need that. So I'm pretty sure we'll have enough. Um, let's start from this end and work our way back. How about that? The way I can see because it looks like we had a different distance this way you know all the hallways are different distances I think it might look a little silly if it was all the same though you know what I mean like if it was all symmetrical one side to the other now that might be enough right there and then <clears throat> excuse me I can figure out what to do with lighting here we might be able to do something like uh well my idea is to go up top with lighting I'll have to think about how I'm gonna do it that's a large gap to span there. I almost needed... Uh, I think I can get something for that, though. I think I can get something going for that. Be, that'll be fine. Let's get the lights here. There. I'd have to put another plate there to make it match up evenly. Oh. Uh, how do we do it on this side? That was touching the glass, wasn't it? Mm, okay. Yeah, I'll have to rethink the plates. I'll rethink the plates. And how they are put. Why did I do that? Spartan, what were you doing there? Um. Hmm. So I'm going to have to wait on this one. I'm going to have to wait on that one. Because I need to redo the plates from the end over there. So we can get over here done. Um. Why not stick one there and there? I know we didn't in the other places. But this is going to be a bit different over here. This generator room. All right, and you know what we could do? We could even put lighting in here like that. My idea was to put it on the walls like that. You know what I mean? Like put them on these pillars, like so. One on each side. We have four, let's see, four, four. So 30, it would take 30 lights to do what I was thinking about doing in here to put them around each side of this. And provide some lighting up here. We could throw them on a switch. We could throw them on a switch. Uh, would give us, you know, during the horde night, we could turn the lights off in the base and just have them on underneath the base. Just curious what we're going to be left over with. That's why I didn't make all of the uh, potential lights we could have made with all the mats we farmed up yesterday. Uh, figured I'd just hold on to a few extra 
I, I'm going to reclaim the lights that you're seeing ahead here in this room. Uh, these lights will go away. I'm going to do these a little differently uh, than the way they're currently set up. Okay, so there. How do we go to the end? We didn't. Kept it all symmetrical. I was commenting on someone, to, uh, uh, replying to someone who commented today about how many resources it took to build this base and this and that. And I was like, well, guess what? It's all been documented on a Let's Play. <laughs> see, if you want to, you can go check it out from the start. You can see the thought process and the grind that was involved. It's all right there. That's what's nice about a big base like this is uh, you all that have been here since the beginning, you've seen it all come together piece by piece, little by little. Even if we, even if we don't keep the lights in the places they're in, gives me an idea of how many more I need. So I have 29. I'm probably going to need about 8 or 10 in this room once we tear this down and rebuild it. I will probably need 100 more lights, but... Um, you know, at some point I have to go through and count them. At some point. Oh, the generator turned off. Okay. We'll leave it off. It wants to go off. Let's stay off. So. Uh, the wrench. The wrench. The wrench. Let's go look at the wrench. We're going to see what it's uh, down to for durability. Um, there you go, Spartan. Oh, it'd be so nice when I have a real place to, uh, park my bike and not just somewhere out in the weeds, in the bushes. So I'm really going to have to buckle down this week and put concrete all around outside. That's something I'm going to have to do. I have not done it recently, uh, but that is something that I need to take care of. I, I promised you all I wouldn't make you suffer through that, and uh, boy, I, I'm not suffering through it either. Well, I have just a little bit, just a little bit, but not like I should have. I should have that done by now, uh, but it won't be in between now. Well, maybe, maybe. What I might try to do is plan it out, because at the end of this episode, it will be day 84, or, well, it won't be day 84 yet, but uh, we'll be creeping up on that. I may use that time in between the turn of 84 and the horde to finish out more of this concrete. So we got all of that done over there. Uh, we got all of that done over to that point right there. Still a long way to go on that, though. That's just a lot of digging that one level of grass out and replacing it, you know, with rebar and upgrading. Uh, but, you know, the big chunk of it's done. I'd probably say, what, 60% is done? Maybe 70%? Something like that. Maybe maybe 50 or 60, because we still have all of that to do, uh, all of this to do over on this side, and uh, not as much over on this side. And then coming back on the back side, we'll need to at least go out to... How far did I go out here? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. So I still have to do all of that. Because my plan was to go through to where you see that gravel start right there. Maybe concrete that area down both ways. So a lot of augering, a lot of uh, rebar placement. Matter of fact, let me look at my rebar. Where are we at? Where's my building box at here? Okay, we did make some extra... I'm going to need to continue making extra. I um, don't have any logs on me, do I? Let's take this and make some logs right here. You know what? I think I'm... Let's, let's take it over to this workbench. I think I might have actually placed some logs over here for fuel. And I can just keep pumping out the rebar with the iron that we're smelting down in these forges over here. Uh, like we did right there. Oh, yeah, 500. Well, stick that little bit of wood in there. Let's break, break, break it down, y'all. Put that there, and you right there. Turn it on. This is running low in stone. 
Run and low in stone. What does this have in it again? A lot of paint. A lot of stuff to make paint with. Gunpowder. Nice. A lot of gas. I'll check all of this stuff. You know how I am. I'll stick stuff over in here, but eventually we'll transition over to this. I'm gonna it's probably not that far away that I'm gonna be transitioning from this room to that room because I need to tear all this down before too long and uh, build it back up again. So let's stick this in there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Like a so, and go get my wrench on. Yeah. Gonna go wrench up as many cars as we can stand today and get some better engines. Let me look at my scavenging skill before we go uh, taking off here. 72. All right, well, we capped out bad mechanic yesterday. Let me map out where I should go. Is there a city? Yeah, this little city up here. We've not done anything in that city yet. And I could stop by the trader, too, right? Let's stop by the trader. Probably need to gather feathers every time we're out and about and I pass a nest. I need to pause long enough to jump off and grab those feathers. And that's going to save us getting in the predicament we were in a week ago where I had to do just a half an episode or more of nothing but gathering feathers because I don't want to run out of those exploding crossbow bolts. I think we're good on meat, so we're going to avoid that wolf. I think we're good on meat right now. Probably could use those that tent right there, though. I'm going to pass it to another wolf. There are two wolves right there. Ooh, it's hard to pass. That's like 20-something meat right there just walking around. Meat delivery system. Look at all the coal out here. Whoa, is that a deer? Oh, all the meat I'm passing. It's hard to refrain. Watch, I'll probably get back to the base and I'll have like a half a stack of meat. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. All right, a little bit of coal out here. We'll come by and scoop all that up sometime. Some point. Well, what's cool on this series, I don't have to worry about zombies. You know, they're not a threat at all. Except for the feral whites, which I hear somewhere. They're a threat. I'm going to do the worst thing in the world. I'm going to auger these cars down to the third tier and then leave them. Oh, there he is right there. Well, he's the only one I have to worry about that can run. All the rest of them are... Uh, not a threat. What I might do also is I may combine some engines in the workbench, try to get the quality up on those things. You know what I mean? Might try to do that. I don't know if I've ever even combined engines in a workbench before. Look at her. She's gonna walk. That's almost just a shame. A walking zombie. <laughs> You know, after you play on Always Run for so long, it's like, man, they're just walking. They're, they're not even a threat anymore. It's, uh, it's almost not enjoyable. It's almost not fun. Almost. Guess you could get crapped up on. Dog horde, you know, bears. You get something like that, but... <clears throat> It is quite a challenge when they're all running all the time. Uh, you have no room. Because look at this. Look at this. Two zombies, right? One on each side. Well, I don't know if the other one will come after me that's right there. Yeah, she's coming. So check it out. I want to wrench this car. You're not doing this on Always Run. No, no. They'd be all up on me. I can do it right there because they can't run me down. Look at that. I'll ride across the street. I'll have this car looted and wrenched before they even get to me. Yeah, I'll take the radiator. They they stack nicely. Don't you go towards my mini bike. The mini bike is not for you, sir. I 
Oh, we got uh, another zombie. A couple more zombies in the mix here. Well, we're getting maximum potential for parts with Bad Mechanic all capped out now. There's no question about that. Uh, now I think it just comes down to my maybe scavenging skill. You know, the wrench skill is capped out, 600. Can't get any better there. So I guess if we don't get purple engines, it's all because my scavenging is not quite capped to 100. Would be my guess. Be my guess, be my guess. I know it's not guess. Yes. Look at all these garbage orange and yellow engines. What a shame. I'm going to have to refuel my mini bike to take some of this fuel out of the... Uh, Oh, look at him hobbling along. What you gonna do there, buddy? What you gonna do? You coming to get me? You coming to get me? Come over here and get me. Nope, sorry. Can't get me. Too slow. Too slow. You should be able to run like your brothers and sisters on the other series, and then you might be able to get me. Take those springs. It absolutely will make you a better player, folks. Uh, if you don't want to take on a challenge I do with the tougher difficulty and always run, try oh uh, try always run with a low difficulty, like super low, like one shot kill, you know, from the beginning. And it'll just make you better. And then you can ease the difficulty up a little bit here or there <clears throat> if you want to. But it get it makes you a better player. It absolutely makes you a better player. And they're not hard to kite when they're always running. They're not hard to kite. Now, the dogs and bears, it, yeah, those those are certain death. You're not getting away from those uh, unless you're really lucky or near your base or something like that. But uh, but the regular zombies, you know, they're, they're no threat at all. Even always run, you can kite them around. You see me every stream, I jump down and I kite 100 zombies around at one time. Cops and all included, they can't get me. So we did get one purple engine. That's nice. We might not be at this too much longer. Uh, let me see what I can put in the bike of minis here. Might need to head to the trader. Let's see if the trader has a workbench where I can combine some of this stuff. Some of these garbage engines. Uh, garbage. Let's see. Let's head that way. I thought I saw a shotgun messiah. No. That's a salon, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's a snake! So they're really, this is not a good town for cars. I thought maybe there'd be more cars over here. I don't recall coming to this town, but maybe once. <laughs> We're all full there. Let me take the gas cans out like that. And... Ooh, another battery. So, hey, what? Let's throw out the uh, lowest quality. Battery. You know what? You know what with these batteries? You know what I'm about to do? I need lead anyway. I'll scrap them. I don't need a stinking battery. All right, now. How much lead do you get for those? Just curious. 120? 120? So you could do that for lead too, you know, if you just need a little bit to top off or something. You could always just scrap the battery. Freed up a lot of room for me. You can sell them. You can sell them to a trader. What do they sell for? What does a uh, decent battery sell for? Oh, yeah. You couldn't sell them. Yeah. Scratch that. <laughs> 766 for a purple battery. Not worth selling. If it doesn't go for more than about three or four grand, not worth selling. Now, that's different early game. Early game, I'll sell them. A shovel, 
I'll sell anything, you know, to get a little bit of extra cash, but when you're at the point where we're at here, it's got to be worth uh, thousands in order to take it with as easy as it is just to sell concrete to a trader. Uh, 36k for a stack. I think that was a landmine I just drove by. Really close to, like the wheel. Like I probably adjusted the positioning of a landmine. I was so close to it. <laughs> Where is that trader guy? Mr. Trader, trader. He's in a bad place here. Mr. Trader, you picked a bad location, sir. I doubt you have much business. I doubt you have much, if any, business at all. Well, first things. Let's see if he has a working workbench. Operational workbench, I guess I should say. Not a working workbench. Sounded kind of silly. I think all they have are like chem labs, stuff like that, right? They might not be able to get a... Might not be able to get a workbench in a trader, I don't know. I spend so little time doing anything trader related. Uh, other than, you know, this, this Alpha 16 has had me a little bit more interested in the traders. Uh, a good bit more, not just a little bit, a good bit more. You can't wrench a car in the trader, can you? Uh, you can loot it. You can't wrench it. All right. We sell only the best merchandise. You can have that, and you can have that. And now I don't have any space to carry anything. Uh, say what? Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, it takes so long to scrap those. Tell you what, sir. You uh, you have that, and you also have that. Uh, let's see what he has. Let's see what he has. There you go. Some lights. All right. All right. Electrical parts. Give me those. Ah. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to kick myself because I spent so much time on the stream series, but I don't think I'm going to worry with the solar banks. I don't know. I don't know what I should do about that. Maybe I should, but I could do this, you know, pretty cool design with it, but eh. Couple spotlights. Guess we could buy those. Let's see what he has here for electrical parts. Yep. Yeah, he sure does. And for lights. No lights. Wow, he's like, whoa, gratitude. <laughs> Never heard that one before. All right, let's get out of this place. Uh, I think I'm going to drive straight down here, and then we'll go through this city. See what might be in this little covered area by the fog of war. A couple batteries maybe have uh, finished scrapping. And we could have made like 50 mini bikes by this point with all the little garbage engines and batteries we picked up. Now that's nitrate there. Shame on you, Grand Spartan. Shame on you for passing that up. But I'm going to have to pass it up. Just do not have the space today. I keep my mini bike so full of stuff. I think it's full of money right now. That's a good problem to have, right? Don't have any storage space because your inventory is full of money. Probably not the best place to be wrenching cars, you know. Well, we have a couple spaces free in here now. Uh, that's a little bit better battery than what we had. Uh, let me put this in there. And I guess I could put that in there, freeze up a spot. Let's do a sort. I have a spot on my belt. Just trying to make enough room so that if we get another... Uh, I'm not going to worry about that brass. If we get another engine, it doesn't poop it out on the ground. I don't have a place to carry it. Another garbage battery.
Yeah, I hope some of you don't mind the grindy aspect of what I'm doing these past couple episodes. Very necessary um, to do what we're doing. Like that comment I sent the guy today, you know, you could tune in and see all the grinding that took place to make this thing happen. This big base didn't just magically happen. Didn't go poof and it appeared. It took a lot of work. You know it. Little bird nest. Little birdie bird. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Little birdies chirping makes me think of three little birds. Alright. Ugh, this awful generation. The awful generation of these cities is killing me. Oh, yeah, we're full again. Full again. So let's go dump this stuff off. Let's go dump this stuff off. Where's my bed? Bed is this way. Uh, there's a car a lot, but two cars in it. There's probably a few cars up in there. Uh, a couple of old beat up cars there. Yeah, I'm going to get back and uh, we'll try that out. We'll test out the old um, combining of the engines and see what happens. See what happens. I'm going to put that wire tool in there too and wrench this car. Oh, wait a minute. We've not been getting uh, pipes. Well, for some reason, I thought you got pipe for uh, scrapping cars. I think I did at some point. I thought we even did a test on that. Maybe at lower levels. I don't know how that works. So, just two shakes of a lamb's tail, and we are back at the base. We combine some engines, see what we come up with there, how high we can get some of those. If we could get, you know, if we could get 12 purple engines, uh, that may power most of it. Might have to go with three generators. I need to leave the option there open for three generators, but I hope to be able to get it done with two. Now, that's not to say that I couldn't put a generator room or just a generator over in the back side over here. You know where I'm going to build this room. This room could be the multi-purpose room. I mean, you can do all kinds. Oh my goodness gracious. Help me. Help me. Where's my mini bike? Oh, what is it doing? What? It... Oh, is oh, there it goes. Um... How about you sit right here? Oh, it went again! Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, there it is. What's happening with my mini bike? Why is it, why is it doing that? All my money, all my money was, was just going up and down. You stay right there. No more, no more funny games. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Wow. Okay, that's a new one for me. Uh, let's combine some of these engines. I wonder what happens though if we combine those with that. 471. Tell you what, let's take the blues. Let's put this here. 378. Okay, blues and better we'll hold on to. Ah, uh, tools, tools, tools. 
All right, let me get this stuff sorted. We have so much junk in our inventory here. I need to get uh, all this put away. Okay, and we'll stick this in building. Our building has freed up a little bit since before when we were having the issues with all of that. Um, no, we didn't have... Oh, yeah, we did have brass. We had radiators. Okay. Feathers go in there. So does the lead. Now all these batteries, we just need to scrap them. There's no need to hold on to those batteries. We're never going to use them for anything. Okay, so little garbage engines here. We have all the cement mixers that we will ever need. We'll take the lower quality blues and do this number right here. Yeah, it jumps up pretty fast using greens and yellows. They were all yellow. It's a 450. Well, that didn't even fully repair it. Did you see that? Combining those two that were a little bit damaged. Whoop. Whoop. Try to get those up a little bit more than what they are. That's almost a purple. Uh, but that'll be close enough to a purple. So what do we have now? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine blues and four purples. Uh, I could strip the one out of my chainsaw if I had to. There's another yellow one there. Well, it's better than what we had. It's not... It's still not enough. It's still not enough, but we do have these over here we can count as well. So we have two purples and two blues. Boy, I've not had much luck on this for engines. All my stream series, I've had incredible luck. And what's funny is this is the same server. The same file, same everything is exactly the same, but uh, it doesn't always work out that way. You know, it's always just kind of random. Always kind of random is how things work out and what you get, what you don't get. Uh, I probably shouldn't even walk over here without building supplies. I don't think we're going to do it today. But I want to look at this and, and kind of get an idea. So I did this and I'm thinking about maybe even doing away with that now. I was going to attach the bulletproof glass to it. Put a generator here and... I'm going to try to do my best to hide the wires in here, right? Um, something I could do is I could put like a block here like that, like a full block. And do some angles around here because it's not like we're going to be walking back there or anything. Um, put my generator down in here. These blocks over here will hold up this pillar. Take this concrete block out there and stick my relay up under it with a plate because I'm pretty sure uh you know what I don't even know if well, it would look funny if I didn't though I was gonna say I don't even need these to support like if I put rebar out here it would sit on that plate like if I made a plate standing up on the end flat flush with the block over here or any of these blocks around it then you could just set the pillar on top of that. And that would hold the weight of the pillar. And uh, But then I think it takes the space of a block. I wouldn't be able to put the uh, relay under there, would I? I was trying to think of a creative way to, you know, hide the, uh, hide the relay. So if I put a generator here, right there, um, and I put a relay up there, Maybe if I face the part that connects to it this way, it would go straight up through there and you wouldn't see much of a wire. Not that it even really matters, but just try to think of some cool, creative way of doing that. So, I 
10, 12, 14, 22, 24, 32, 4, 6, 8, 40, 2, 4, 6, 8, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 4. Well, the garden looks good, doesn't it? 82, 4, 6, 8. 92, 4, 8, 9, 2, 4, 8, 100, 4, 6, 10, 2, 22, 4, 6, 8, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40. So roughly 140 something. 140 something. Uh, uh, lights, so, and they're five each, so 140, it'd be like 700 watts. 700 watts. So we could do that with two in, two generators, okay? Um, what is this up to here? Let's take these out. Let's stick in some purple engines here. I'm just curious about power. Uh, for what we have right here, right now. 571. Man, that's almost all the power we need right there. And those aren't even capped out 600 engines. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what? I didn't even look for an engine while I was over at uh, Trader Joe's. Didn't even look for an engine. I should have. I bet he had some. Something I could have bought with an engine in it. Well, uh... I guess what I might do, maybe split this up into a couple recordings or something. Uh, spent all day today going out and wrenching the uh, engines. But I need to come back and I need to get lighting put up for my garden. Uh, we're going to be around 200 lights before it's all said and done. If we're at 140, 150 now, uh, count on at least another 50 lights. I'd say about 16 in that room. Uh maybe more 30 in this room i didn't count the ones on the ceiling in here yeah we're, we're going to be above 200 we're going to be above 200 uh because i haven't even designed this building over here yet uh i need to get on to that i need to get on designing this building and i'm going to take those curve blocks out right there that it's attached to got to take that out uh so yeah two 220 230 230 lights I said 140, but let's go another almost 100. Let's just say we had 230 lights. Um, that's you know that's over a thousand watts. That's over a thousand watts. I may have to put in a third generator down there, or make this room over here so that I can run a wire um, somewhere out the wall. Maybe put it somewhere along the wall right here and run it to this light. Ah, that wouldn't work, though. That wouldn't work because we couldn't go over. We'd have to do it on this side. You know, we'd have to put the generator over on this side, run it through this light, and then it can go all the way down. I think the wire should be hidden, pulling through here to that one. And, yeah. We could do it a few different ways. I mean, we could have... We could have a, you know, but I have, I have a really good idea for how I want to do the exterior band of lights all around the outside wall. I got that covered. I got that covered, folks. It's the interior one uh, I'm looking at, and I may cover it the same way I cover the exterior, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, but let me think. Uh, I've also have a good idea of how I'm going to do the lighting in the garden. We'll have to test a few things out with it. Uh, but let me think about that generator room and how I want to do it. I don't want to just jump the gun and build something and have to tear it all apart because it's not sufficient. Uh, but anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your support. Hanging out today with me. Have yourselves a good day or evening. I will see you all next time.